peace beautiful beings welcome back to another video this will be a quick one i just wanted to address a frequently asked question that i've been getting a lot which is why i am no longer eating as a raw vegan while i am still enjoying 90 percent raw foods i like to start my day off with definitely fresh fruits and then have salads and fresh fruits along the day most of the time my dinners are now cooked meals that consist of things like sweet potatoes or chickpea pasta beans stuff like that i made that switch because i was noticing myself fall into sort of a dark mental cycle where when i was calling myself a raw vegan i wasn't allowing myself to have any cooked food and if i were to have some bites of my partner's food or we go out to a restaurant and i end up getting an appetizer that's cooked i am ruined for the rest of the day like i was just upset at myself and i was exercising the subconscious thoughts of me not taking care of myself to the best of my ability and the possibility of me like gaining weight i mean a lot of destructive thoughts started to flow back into my mind Thoughts that I used to tell myself back in the day when I wasn't even vegan and I was very destructive towards my body. So after going through these emotional changes and trying to process it all, I've decided to start eating cooked food again. I don't want any negative thoughts around my diet because that is a sure way to fall into a destructive cycle that can manifest in many different forms. And the way that I started is just by negative self-talk and I don't want to train my mind into thinking that eating raw foods is the only way to be healthy or the only way to take care of yourself because that is so not true. While eating a raw diet is very, very good for you because you aren't consuming foods where the nutrition has been cooked out of them or you know maybe the genetic makeup of the food has changed a little bit some foods become carcinogenic when they're cooked for too long like oils and stuff like that so i felt like being raw was making me invincible to all disease and all illnesses because i was eating this diet that seems to be so pure but in reality you can be susceptible to disease and problems eating a raw diet as well because the produce is not the same produce that we had back in the day. The nutrients are no longer in the soil. If they're not in the soil, they're not gonna be in the fruit. So being a raw vegan, especially in a city like LA, New York, you know, America, pretty much, it's not the same as it would be if I'm eating raw vegan in Costa Rica or Hawaii, somewhere where there's abundant food, abundant fruits and vegetables and more organic stuff that's less pesticide laden and things like that. So although eating a raw diet is very good for you, I've allowed myself to move away from that being the only way because I just love food. I love food, I love, lentils and quinoa and sweet potatoes and flavors and sauces and i just was feeling myself become a little bit miserable and it's just not good to feel miserable about the way that you eat if you feel miserable about it you're going to inevitably fail that's just how it works and that's what's so destructive about diet culture which i know being a raw vegan isn't a, just a diet it's a full lifestyle but when i create really strict rules around the way that i eat it starts to backfire on me so Eating a cruelty-free, dairy-free diet is enough as far as rules go. And then I can add on, you know, keeping myself elevated as far as not too much oil or processed sugar, stuff like that. But the raw vegan was just starting to close in on me. And so I had to make a choice for myself. And maybe one day I'll go back to being a raw vegan. But for now, eating that way just doesn't make me as happy as incorporating some cooked foods. Another reason why I think this isn't the best time for me to be raw vegan is because fruits and vegetables are very expensive. We're in Los Angeles now where prices are pretty heavy and we have found that we're saving a lot more money eating lentils and quinoa and those sorts of meals while I know that we live in abundance and I can attract what I need whenever I need it but right now it does work for our wallets for me to incorporate a couple of cook things back into it and also fruits and vegetables just do not live well in the van during the day it is hot and they're gonna spoil so it was hard for us to try to get to the store every day and get enough for what we needed but then we couldn't get too much for the day because by five o'clock it would be like a cooked watermelon so we'd have to go back to the store and it was just sort of a little bit too much for van life so there's another reason another reason why I am no longer eating 100% raw is because when someone is eating a raw diet you sort of have to eat a lot intermittent fasting is harder because fruits and vegetables digest so much quicker in the system so I was finding myself having a hard time intermittent fasting which is more important to me than being fully raw because I'm trying to train my body to not have to eat 
all throughout the day as soon as I rise and right before I go to sleep. It's just not good for the digestive system to be that overactive. Eating completely raw was requiring me to eat a lot more and that's just not what I'm aligning with these days because I have recently discovered something called the Almond Raw Protocol and be patient because as I learn more about it, I will be making tons of videos talking about this because I want more people to know. I have just discovered it just a couple months ago. I mean, I knew about Dr. Nun Amun Ra, but I never really dealt, dove into his work until now. And if you go to the website, I'll put it right here, you can, you know, learn a little bit more about the doctor and learn a bit a little bit more about what he's about and donate and receive some of his dissertations, his work, his books, and learn about what he's doing because it's not mainstream. His protocol really revolves less around eating physical foods and more around finding other ways to fuel the human body. And this man has done his work. If you have any questions, go donate and get his books because I'm not an expert on his protocol yet and he's gonna explain it better than I would. The human body also runs off of sunlight and magnetism. Now I know that sounds crazy because you're gonna think well you can't just stand in the sun all day and then think that you're gonna be full and not need food because you'll just die. But I know people who have perfected this protocol and they have trained their bodies to feed off of things like sunlight. The Amun Ra protocol in a nutshell is about teaching the human body to return back to what what's natural, which is not eating all day, getting your food from the sun and magnetism, the earth, grounding, and eating one meal a day that's actual food that consists of, you know, all of your macros so that it's balanced. And it's usually about 15 calories to like 1800 calories, but it changes for some people. But I know that Dr. Amon Ra, he only eats one meal a day and he only eats in a one hour eating window. So he fasts for 23 hours a day and then only eats that one hour. It's not recommended for females because we need a little bit more fat on our bodies for reproduction and our hormones. So it's usually recommended to have a four hour eating window minimum, like a four to six hour eating window. And that's what I'm working towards. I'm working towards elevating my vessel in a way that I won't need to always give it food in the physical form. I want to elevate in a way where I can fuel myself with all of what earth has to offer. So I'm very excited to dive into this protocol. I've already been reading some of his material and I'm going to dive in even further as time goes on, but that's what I've been doing lately. I rise every day at around 7 a.m. I take some DHA, I go outside, allow my body to absorb the sunlight, sun gaze before my eyes can look at my phone and screens and negative blue light. I give my body natural sunlight to power my internal clock, get all my hormones and mitochondria all set and ready for the day. And then around 1 p.m. I start to eat and I usually try to end around 7 p.m. Lately it's been going to 8, but I'm gonna practice, you know, getting my body into with it and eventually I won't need to eat all day long so yeah that's pretty much it I know this is a real short video but I just wanted to answer that question because I know it was probably confusing to some people my channel has mostly been about raw veganism this whole time and I wanted to let you know that it is okay to experiment with your body it is okay to try new things life is short figure out what works for you not what works for somebody that you saw on YouTube experiment and try it out and if it doesn't work that is okay I've been a nutritionist for years and I'm still trying out diets to see what works best for me so I hope that inspires you to give yourself a little bit more freedom if you're being strict with yourself usually freedom works a lot better I can see that my mental health has already elevated exponentially now that I've released myself from the pressure of eating only raw and I'm not talking negatively about anyone who's a raw vegan and they are thriving do you boo that is amazing and I am happy for you I'm happy that you're getting going with that electric food that's awesome but this is what's been working for me lately and I will definitely keep you all updated on how this journey goes so my main focus is training my body to eat less I'm slowly working my way down to around six hour eating window or a four hour eating window I've been working out every day because exercise is not my strong suit it never has been but I want to change that I want to start feeling strong again so that's also something that's gonna be coming soon workout videos I'll definitely be sharing more of my 
journey towards being the ultimate Wonder Woman. But for now, I'm gonna go and leave you with that. Thank you for watching this video and having an interest in what I have to say about my diet. I feel like nobody cares, but then I'm always getting comments and questions asking about my diet. So here's another video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you all are having a lovely day and you are choosing thoughts that serve you and releasing the ones that don't and doing the same with the people in your life, okay? Take care of yourself. I love you. Peace.